Hey guys, what's going on? Machine 2.4.7 Native Instruments. Another little upgrade. Scene linking is the operative word, I think, here. Um, it's called alias in Logic. And what it does, if it's ticked properly in preferences, a scene duplication, it creates a link to it. So it's a linked copy. We're gonna play with that and show you how that works. Uh, you can turn them unique, you can duplicate. It's a cool feature to build songs, to be more effective in song building and track arrangement. There's a new uh, zero crossing feature and mono slicing that is new and is also a MIDI indicator feature that I'll show at the end of this clip. Uh, but let's try this out here really quickly. So we'll hop into scene, uh, bring up the scenes here on the controller. And uh, when you press duplicate, Go to the duplicate menu. You have a you can duplicate the scene and link because we set in preferences. So is enabled, All right? So now, if we do a scene duplicating, if we hit the duplicate button, it's going to link that scene. You can also make it unique. I'll talk about this in a sec. So here we have a chorus. This chorus one, right? First chorus here in the track and along the watchtower that I did. And I duplicate it, and by default now, this is linked. So you make a change in chorus one, it's gonna affect the change in chorus two, right? Um, so right now I deleted uh, the drum pattern in chorus one, it immediately affected chorus two. It's great for you know making song structures larger and quicker and more efficient. Uh, that was a bit of a pain before to do that, if you remember. Or if you haven't upgraded, try it. See what workflow it needs. Um, and, um, if we hit unique, then it turns that one scene into a unique scene. It duplicates everything, but without making it dependent. So now I'm gonna delete it, delete that pattern, and see it only affects chorus one and three, and doesn't affect chorus two, and creates new instances of the patterns as well. So you can make dynamic changes to it. Let's see how that looks like in the software. Chorus here. And uh, this can all be done while playing, obviously. And we're gonna duplicate it. And as, as you will see, patterns all the same. Six one one two, six one one two per group. In my case, it's just how I built my course. And same thing here. Deleting it changes chorus number two. Cool feature. Now let's turn it into a unique chorus. Which is, here you go. Now we got pattern seven, three, two, two, three. So it's pattern plus one on each side. So it has a copy of the pattern that's being created. Now you can edit that and um, you can really make variations across the whole board. Really like that. Something I've been missing. And here are those MIDI indicators. I always say MIDI in a weird way, as you point out. Here you go. Per instrument, per group, we get that. We know what's going on, that something is going on. It's not always visible. So pretty cool. Good idea. And uh, just remember, here you have the options to duplicate scene and patterns or the scene only. I've selected scene and patterns as you can see, as you could see. So I'm getting a new pattern as well if I duplicate the scene and make it unique. Pretty cool. Uh, check it out. And um, yeah, machine native instruments. Keep it going. Now we need real-time audio stretching. Real-time audio stretching. So whatever we do needs to snap to the beat. Hope you guys are with me on that one. Massive Beats out.